understanding to each his own. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, to each his own. This expression is a treasure in the English language, often used to acknowledge individual preferences and tastes. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and origins together. To each his own means that every person has their own preferences or tastes, and that these differences should be respected. It's used to express a tolerance of others' choices, even if they differ from one's own. For instance, if someone prefers reading fiction over nonfiction, you might say, well, to each his own. This phrase is commonly used in casual conversations. It's a polite way to acknowledge differences without passing judgment. For example, friend one, I don't understand why he likes camping in the cold. Friend two, to each his own, I guess. Some people enjoy the challenge. It's a versatile phrase, suitable in various contexts where personal preferences are discussed. The phrase has roots in Latin, suum quique, and has been used in English for centuries. There are variations like, different strokes for different folks, or, everyone to their taste. These all carry a similar message of respecting individual choices. To each his own appears in literature and media, reflecting the diversity of human preferences. It's often used to highlight characters' unique choices or to resolve conflicts arising from differing opinions. I hope you now have a better understanding of the phrase, to each his own. It's a simple yet profound expression that teaches us the beauty of respecting individual differences. Remember, the next time you encounter someone with a different taste or opinion, to each his own can be the perfect response. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!